Hello everybody and welcome into my little aquaponic shop here for a super quick tip. I have been advised, because my system is getting very high with its pH, that one of the best things I can do to try and correct the situation is to put some pH down in it. But until I can get that, it turns out I may have a lot of limestone in my bed. So the best way to check and see if these rocks are in fact far too alkaline is to grab some white vinegar and drop them in there. If they bubble, they gotta go out of the system. So let's take a look at some of the rocks I've got in here and see if that's my problem. So here we'll just take a quick look at some of the rocks that are currently making up my media. I uh, should probably go out and get some proper river rocks or something like that. Maybe some crushed lava, some shale, I don't know, I have to find out what's available. But I've been trying to fill it up in the meantime with what's in my yard. Which is probably causing my problem. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these rocks and find out whether or not they're going to bubble in our white vinegar. Just thought I'd see if I even need to do all this first. Here's my pH meter, it's reading 3.2 for the vinegar. I think that's high, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be closer to 2 point something for white vinegar. But I could be wrong and I will need to double check that inside. But for now, let's check these rocks anyway. So apparently anything gray has a good chance of being limestone. So let's just drop that in there. See what happens. Well, I'm not seeing any bubbling off that one. It took a few tries to find a rock that would fizzle, but uh, looks like the bottom of this particular rock has got some bubbling going on. But that one's out of the system. Okay, so if you're going to do this, apparently you need to let the rocks sit for, uh, you know, a few minutes. And that's when they'll start to bubble. I wouldn't say any of these are bubbling excessively. But I don't think I'm putting any of them back in the system because they're coated with vinegar anyway, so... Still, that is a very interesting tip. Now I need to run inside and uh, check the pH value of white vinegar because I think the meter is off. But yeah, we'll just leave these out here to bubble. So there you go everybody, that's just a quick look at using white vinegar to test the rocks in the uh, garden bed to see if they're too alkaline or not. I found a few, like I said, that I'm going to keep out of the system. But for the most part, I don't know, I've got to have something in there for now and all my clay pellets have busted. So I'm, I've got very little choice but to leave them in there and deal with the pH value. Yes, I am looking into pH down and or other, you know, potential options from the co-op in town. Thank you for joining me here today, everybody, on uh, my little aquaponic quick tip. Will white vinegar identify alkaline rocks? Now, we know. Have yourselves a fantastic day, everybody. I will see you next time. Not a vigorous bubbling, but enough to keep them out of the garden.